Benjamin, the little brother and his weird day. What? Joseph was alive? Benjamin was so very confused. How can this ruler of Egypt be Joseph? I thought Joseph was eaten by a wild animal, he thought. This had been such a whirlwind, nothing made any sense. First, this ruler demanded he come to Egypt or Simeon would be stuck in prison. Then, his dad wouldn't let him go because he was afraid Benjamin would get hurt. Then, his dad did let him go because they were about to starve. So, Benjamin had to leave his father and his whole family, including his own ten little children. But once he was in Egypt, everything seemed to turn up, up, up. The ruler treated him so nice by giving him lots of food and a big party. Then the next thing he knew, he was chased down by soldiers, accused of magic cup stealing, found with the magic cup mysteriously in his sack, and declared the ruler's slave, all in one crazy day. Famine to feast, up to down, confusion cup, crying and clothes ripping, face to the floor with his life in jeopardy. Now Benjamin is hearing that this ruler, who has been causing all this trouble, is his long lost, supposed to be dead brother Joseph. What? This was the weirdest day in Benjamin's life. Am I still in trouble? Benjamin wondered. The brothers all gasped. They were stunned. The ten brothers thought Joseph would be angry with them. But instead, Joseph said, Don't be afraid. Come close to me. And he hugged, hugged, hugged all his brothers. You sold me as a slave, but God sent me here to save lives. God has made it all work out for good things to happen. As Joseph spoke, Benjamin slowly started to piece together what had happened. Joseph especially hugged little Benjamin and cried many so happy tears. Joseph was weeping so loudly that people all around the outside of the house were hearing. Benjamin started crying too. Joseph knew he had tested Benjamin with some confusing ups and downs, but now they were together again. Joseph told them all, Go get our dad and all your families and bring them here to live. The famine still has five years to go, so come here where you'll be safe. So the eleven brothers got ready to go home and get their families. Before they left, Joseph gave each of them a set of fancy new clothes from Egypt. But to Benjamin, Joseph gave one, two, three, four, five sets of clothes. Again, Benjamin got more, more, more than the others. But this time, there were no worries and no jealousy. Hooray! At last! And guess what? One day Jesus, the real ruler, will show himself as a brother to all the children of his father. But he may have to test us first, just like Joseph did. So be ready. It might not make sense to us when it happens, just like it didn't make sense to Benjamin. But just be ready to trust God through all the ups and downs, because then we will get to meet our big brother Jesus. Oh, yeah.